This video is sponsored by Squarespace, and they are actually the reason I was able to replace that motherboard. Pull this shit off. Middle, left, right. Just pull it off, right. come on. They say people in your life are seasons, and everything that happens is for a reason. You know, as dumb as I think Kanye West can be sometimes, that's actually my favorite rap lyric of all time. When you're growing up, you have people and friends that you really like having around, but then either you move or their life's going in a different direction and then you just kind of lose touch. And it really sucks because sometimes there are people that you know you see doing really awesome things and you want to reconnect with them, but there's no really good way to do that. For me personally, that's happened a lot and with everything that's going on in my life now, it makes it even harder to try and find those people. However, there is someone who I was really good friends with around eight years ago. They were like a brother to me. They reached out and they called me out of the blue and they started talking to me for like two hours saying, you know, what's going on with them, asking what's going on with me. And it was just a really good phone call that I really needed. And he actually told me he's working at a place now where he's got all these Asian coworkers and on the weekends they get together and have these LAN parties where they're all just playing games the entire weekend. He actually can't participate with them all that well because he only has a five-year-old Mac. So I told him I have this YouTube channel that I kind of build computers and I asked him if I could help him out. He said, ah, oh, dude, I don't know if I can do that. These guys have like thousand dollar systems and I've barely got 500 bucks. So I told him, listen, it's no big deal. If you have 500 bucks, I can do 500. What, what games do you play? Realm Royale, Fortnite, CSGO, and League of Legends. I tell him it's no big deal and he still doesn't believe me, but he said if I can get it done, he'll pay me the 500. And yeah, normally for this kind of thing, I would like to get paid for my time for getting the parts together and building it, but I'm hoping, you know, maybe after this whole thing is done, it'll kind of bring us back in time, so to speak. So with all that said, I got like a week to get this computer together. If you've been on this channel before, you know how it goes. We look around for everything and anything we can get our hands on in the budget to build an EVIC system. So let's go take care of it. All right, so it's the first day trying to get these parts and I think that I've already gotten off to a really good or really bad start, depending on how you look at it. So I have a motherboard and processor combination for sale. Um, originally, this guy was actually only selling the processor. It's an AMD Ryzen 5 2600. Um, but I asked him if he had the motherboard for it and he said that he did. Now he's willing to sell me both of those together for $120. Now, off the top of my head, I don't know the retail value, but I assume a combination like that is worth still $200, so saving almost 50% by getting it used. Here is the issue. Um, this guy's account has zero ratings. He's never made a transaction on the website, and he's telling me that he doesn't want to meet at his house. Um, so uh, sometimes good deals come at a cost. <laughs> And sometimes that cost is a complete lack of insurance. So there are really no other options that are gonna fit the bill for this guy's build. Um, I've checked everywhere. Right now in Las Vegas, this is the only thing that'll do it. Let's go get scammed, I guess. All right, so uh, I'm at the spot waiting for this guy to show up with the motherboard and processor. And it's a little sketchy. Um, there was a giant dumpster on the way in here that said stay out uh, on my way into this neighborhood. So I don't know, man. Ugh. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, 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 it's, it's raining. How are you guys? Good, sorry, sorry about that. Oh, good, okay. It has a fan in it, uh -huh. and then I got another box with the motherboard with the processor in it still. Okay. And uh, I didn't take, I didn't touch the processor or anything. I didn't mm -hmm. clean off the uh, paste, so you could do it, but I didn't want to mess it up. Okay, cool. You mind if I check it out real quick? Yeah. Awesome. That's, okay, let's see here. All right, so oh, and I got the RAM there too. Okay, this is three. Okay, this is a this is a different uh, motherboard and processor than a Ryzen 5 2600. What do you mean? So this motherboard is for an older socket. Um, it says FX on there. Mm -hmm. So this is for something that is significantly older. Um, the Ryzen 5 2600 is something that came out pretty recently this is about a decade old oh so oh no, i got that off online uh-huh off ebay mm -hmm. here here's the fan about to drive too, man. oh good only an hour and 15 minutes <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. 
Yeah, have a good rest of the night. They don't even have a license plate on their fucking car because they know they're pulling shit on people. I have the thermal paste on there. The only reason you didn't clean off the fucking thermal paste, dumbass, is because I can read the fucking processor if it's not on there and it's gonna say, oh, this is a 10 year old fucking. Ugh. All right, well, now I gotta go get the graphics card, which, you know, that I know for sure is not gonna be a fucking scam. Stupid ass dude. Oh, hello? Are you the one selling the card? Yeah. Hi, Chris, nice to meet you. Where were you? What's your name? Oh, I was around by the uh, the Mexican restaurant. I was looking all over for it, sorry. I don't come to this part of town almost ever. No, you're fine. All right, so we got the graphics card. It's raining like all hell. And uh, now we gotta find the other parts. All right, so it's been a few days and I haven't been able to find any deals on a CPU motherboard combo. I've been trying to get it used because that's how you get the most bang for your buck, but literally nothing's being posted that will help fit the requirements of high performance as well as cheap. But I went on the build a PC sales subreddit, which if you don't follow, you really need to, because that's where they post all the really good sales. Well, most of the time. Um, and I found this AMD 7 1700 eight core processor. Now, that is an older processor, but it is still more than powerful enough for what we're doing. And to be honest, it's actually a little more overkill than what I was looking for, but it's only going for $155. After buying that, obviously we still need a motherboard. And since this processor is so cheap, I just figured we'll go on eBay and try to find the cheapest B350 motherboard that is compatible with the Ryzen 7 1700 processor. And this is all I can find. Got some MSI B350 motherboards, 55, $50. I'm just looking for something that's cheap, that doesn't look like complete garbage and will hold all our parts that I can kind of cover up its poor aesthetic with all the RGB lights we're gonna be using in the build. Um, I think this will do $55 plus the $155 processor, 210 for CPU, cooler, as well as the motherboard. I think that's, that's fine. I'm gonna put the camera down now and buy it before it goes out of stock. All right, and now we're gonna get a case. Now I intended on buying this online anyways. I didn't wanna get a used secondhand case that had scratches, some weird body fluids in it. I've, I've seen some weird stuff when you buy it secondhand. So we're actually gonna go with the NCXT H500i. I've talked about it before, I love this case. Clean glass tempered panel, and the one we're getting specifically has a red crossbar because the Red Devil RX 580 we got is black and red and I figured might as well stick to the color scheme. It's the cheapest one you can build. And this H500i does come with the pre-installed RGB lights. So that aesthetic is going to help bring everything to life when we're actually finally sitting there looking at the completed system. All right, so we are almost out of time and almost out of money. We have $95 left. The computer almost has to be ready to go, and we are still missing a power supply, RAM, and a drive. Fortunately, today, we did make some pretty big moves. I did get a power supply through EVGA's Midweek Madness sale for only $20, and right now, I'm actually about to head out because of a deal I saw on OfferUp. Okay, I think that's him, homeboy, on the corner right there. That's not creepy. Hey. How's it going? Chris, nice to meet you. So here it is. Okay, let me see. It's 2500 megahertz, 16 gigabyte, and uh, Gen 6 DDR4. Okay, perfect, yeah. Okay. That's good, here, I got the cash. Let's see. 20, 40, 60, That's All right, thank you. Awesome, appreciate right. it. Have a good rest of the night, okay. man. Okay, so at this point, we have everything for the computer except a drive, and there are only three days left before this thing needs to be ready to show. So here's where we're at. I've been looking everywhere through Craigslist, OfferUp, LetGo, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, and no one is selling a drive. Absolutely no one, at least nothing within our price range that I can make myself okay with. And uh, if you've been doing the math so far, we've spent 400 and $95, which means there's supposed to be $5 left in the budget. Unfortunately, that is impossible. <laughs> I, I can't get a drive that's any good for $5, let alone a drive period. So we are gonna go a little bit over the budget and this popped up today again on the build a PC sales subreddit, which I didn't wanna have to resort to, but we're using. And this 
is an SSD, it's an M.2 SSD made by Pioneer, which usually makes sound stuff, stuff for audio, whatever, but I guess they make SSDs. It's only 120 gigabytes, but it is an M.2. That means we don't have to go and buy cables on top of it. And it will be enough to hold Windows as well as some games. And from my understanding, there aren't gonna be so many games going onto this computer that he needs all that extra space. If he wants to get more hard drive space for his computer, he can go buy that as <laughs> he can go buy that as damn self. Cause I I am working on a tight budget here. We're just trying to make this work. All right, let's reevaluate here. It is the seventh day, which is the last day for me to get this computer done. And all that we have is the graphics card and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, fortunately, the doorbell rang about 20 minutes ago and all of the remaining parts are supposed to be here. So pray to Lord E that nothing got lost and we can get this thing done and I can get paid. Okay, that looks promising. All right, I can't lift all that with one hand. I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna take it downstairs. Oh my God, nobody saw that. Out of the way, we know what you are. Okay, we have a drive. Definitely didn't drop this motherboard. I don't know why Newegg always does this. Like, I'm, I don't need to be on a diet. I am not fat, yet. Power supply, which means this should be, yes. Processor, let's go. All right, so I don't have a lot of time left, so let's go over this really quickly. Ryzen 7 1700, this is our processor. It comes with the stock cooler inside because it is not an X model Ryzen processor. It's an eight core processor, which means it's gonna handle gaming and content creation super easily. This normally retails for $170. This is the MSI B350 PC Mate, which will barely hold our AM4 processor. The reason I say just barely is because this is a cheaper motherboard and it does come with less features than most motherboards do, but for what we're using it for, it's gonna be just fine. This normally retails for $100. Again, here we have our Corsair Vengeance 16 gigabytes of RAM, and these are clocked at 2400 megahertz speed. Yeah, I'm a little bit down that I couldn't get this at a faster clock speed because the Ryzen processors really do give you more FPS when you get faster clock speed RAM, but considering the budget, this is the best I could do. I am, however, happy with the fact that I was able to get 16 gigabytes because on the small chance he's one of those guys that leave 1800 Chrome tabs open this will be good. These normally retail for $100. And of course is our RX 580 by PowerColor. This is the Red Devil variant, which looks really sick. I'm so excited to show it to you guys. And by the way, uh, Mary, thank you for selling this for so cheap. I appreciate it so much. And if you are watching this video and you're single, um, I'm single too. And YouTube pays kind of decent money. I'm just saying. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm actually gonna die alone, oh my God. This card retails for $200. Moving on, we have our power supply. This is the EVGA 600 white. This is an 80 plus rated power supply. Now it does have 600 watts of power, which I'm happy about because paired with this card and this processor, it will need that much, but I'm not happy about the fact that it's only 80 plus certified. I would have liked at least a bronze rating, but it wasn't in the budget. From what I've heard from a lot of other people who have built with this power supply though, they've seen several years of use with this thing with no issue, so I'm sure it'll be fine. This retails for $40. And then for our drive, the very weird Pioneer M.2 SSD, which is 120 gigabytes. Now, I know it's not a lot of space. I wish there was more of it, but again, there were budget issues. But honestly, I am happy about the fact that we were able to get an M.2. It's just a skinny little chip. I'm gonna pop it into the motherboard and it will save us buying extra cables like we would have to get if we got a regular SSD. And then lastly, we have our H500i by NZXT. Now this is the red and black one, which I'm really excited about because as you can see, a lot of our parts are red and black. This does come with the RGB lights already installed, which I'm really excited to see how they look when there's already a color scheme going on. This normally retails for $100. So the entire price of this system at retail value is $750, and we were able to get it all for only $520. So yeah, it's not the $1,000 value system I was hoping to get for only $500, 
but this is a pretty top tier system, at least in terms of gaming performance, and I'm really excited to see how it does on the games that he wants. So that's all the parts. We really gotta get going, so without further ado, let's start the build. Moment of truth, time to see if this thing works. Woo! <laughs> Look at this! Oh, you can't tell me that's not sick. Okay, graphics card seems to be working. I'm assuming the RAM is working. This thing looks amazing. I, oh man, I know the red and black aesthetic for computer building is somewhat cheap. And I guess now you do too, if you didn't know that already. It just so, it looks so good. If you get the parts, to pull this thing together. It just looks absolutely amazing. First things first, I'm gonna try to install Windows and the games and tests to see how well this thing performs. Uh, but let's see how this thing goes. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. All right, so we have Windows installed and all of the games, Fortnite, CSGO, League of Legends, and Realm Royale. And it's about time to test this thing to see if we hit our goals for frames per second in each game. But first, I do have to share something. Wait a minute. Some of you might have already noticed, but this is not the RAM that I showed earlier in the video. For whatever reason, this Corsair Vengeance at 2400 megahertz would not work properly in the system. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, well, where the hell did this RAM come from? Well, I was actually gonna be using this for a future video because it's an insane, deal. This is 16 gigabytes of Team Vulcan and it is at 3000 megahertz speed and it's 16 gigabytes. But anyways, enough of that. Let's I think for what is now a $510 computer, that performance is pretty amazing. I am pretty happy with the system. I'm really happy with the way it looks. It turned out a lot cooler than I thought it would. And most importantly, I think our guy who is coming to pick it up is going to like it a lot. So without further ado, let's get him over here. Yo, Marvin. Hey, what's up, dude? Yo, you got a free moment? What's up? Why don't you come over? Right now? Yeah. Um, sure. All right, I'll see you in a bit, huh? All right, cool, yeah, I'll see you shortly. Yo. What's up, dude? Get in here. 
Come downstairs. All right, so this may or may not be your baby. Are you excited to see it? <laughs> I'm so fucking stoked, Are you excited to see it? Come here. Very excited. All right, stand behind it. Pull the shit off. Middle, left, right. Just pull it off. Right. Come on. All right, come around the front. Take a look. You see the back? Now look at the front. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's fucking so that's why you told me. Uh, <laughs> you like it? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking badass. Press that right there. Take a look at it. Peek over. That's fucking sweet. You like it? Yes. What do you think? Dude, that's fucking swat. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's, that's money. Like, I, I, I just love, like, Red Devil. Red Devil. I'm a Duke fan. Uh, so shut Blue Devils, up. but hey, Red Devil works too. You gave me you gave me a budget of five hundred, and I regret to inform you that I had to spend five hundred and ten. That's totally. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I re I had to crack the budget. I'm sorry. It's over ten but... <laughs> Sales tax. Sales tax. Um, I didn't want to include this in the budget. Um, I had it lying around. Only spent. I think 15 bucks on it, but there's a vertical GPU mount. Normally graphics cards, you don't get to see them facing all front and pretty like it is right here in the case. Right, that's... But I wanted it. I wanted you to be able to see the full thing. And this little Red Devil logo, has got a little red LED, but you can't see it with the red lights. I set it up to red. Anyways, let's get you the hell out of here. Thanks for, uh, thanks for letting me build it. Oh, no, thank you, dude. <laughs> I love you, bro. Get out of here. Love you, man. Appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely, dude. I hope, I hope you enjoy it. So before we wrap this up, I do have to remind you guys that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. And I'd just like to say thank you so much. Because of you guys, we've been able to put up the cash for these computer parts because we were running a little bit low on the resources to make these videos. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, Squarespace is an all-in-one service platform for website making. For those of you guys that didn't know how websites were made prior to Squarespace, it was kind of a pain in the butt. You had to go make three different kind of accounts, three different services, websites, and it was annoying. But with Squarespace, it is not annoying. Now, why would you ever need to make a website? I told you guys before. If you're looking into making computers and you want to make some side cash like I do, nothing makes you seem a little bit more professional than an online presence. Now, there is a link in the description and I'm gonna put it on screen right now so you guys can see how you get a discount. They're being really cool, they're hooking up the channel and they're hooking you guys up. But anyways, thank you guys so much for taking your time to watch this video. I'm sorry, it was a little bit long, but I hope you find it creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. And as always, have a good day.